So the first step you want to do in order to make one of these vinyl record pick cards is uh, head to your neighborhood Goodwill. They have a bunch of different kinds of records. They have the 7 inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch, and all kinds of lab labels and records. So I picked out whichever one had my favorite label, and I made sure that it was 12 inch because I had purchased the 10 inch before and it didn't fit. I would always recommend the 12 inch because those can fit whatever size pick guards you have on your guitar or bass. Next, I went ahead and brought it home, and then I pulled off the old pick guard, put it on the new pick guard, uh, new record, and I sized it up. Then I went ahead and went around the edges with a sharpie, um, making sure to keep it in place because this is going to be the foundation for the rest of my cut. And don't forget to mark out the pickup cavity as well and the uh, holes for the screws. Next, I went ahead and took off the old pick guard to make way for the new one, make sure it's going to fit. And the best tool to cut this out is probably a bandsaw, but unfortunately mine didn't work at the time, so I had to go with other methods. The best method being this Dremel here was the next best option. Um, then I used this router bit, which honestly I use so much, it's very very handy. I would definitely recommend it if you can get one. Then I went ahead and started cutting. Make sure to go along the lines nice and smoothly. And I went a lot slower than than this one, obviously. And there's the rough cut for it. Also, don't forget the inside pickups. Be very careful for those small edges because those will break on you. Uh, once I was done, I started clamping it, then I went ahead and routed out the uh, inside pickup holes. And then uh, there's a little hole for the knob that I hit at the very end, right there. After you're done with that, go ahead and get a file. I used a square file, and then I just went around and uh, made all the edges as sharp as I could. You know, 45 degree angles, 90 degree angles, all that. And then uh, that's kind of... Uh, little rough outline of what it what it'll look like. I went ahead and sized it to make sure that the pickups fit and they didn't unfortunately but the neck part did. Then you have to go in and hit it as much as you can. Try and you know continue sizing it up. I used that Dremel and then that one's got actually rounded over a bit for the edges and then I went ahead and put like a 45 degree bevel around the whole edge. Just like that. More like a regular pick guard. Also, so you don't cut yourself and other friends when they want to play your bass or guitar. Next, you're going to take your pick guard to the drill press where you're going to go ahead and screw in the screw holes with those drill bits there. And the next best option is probably a power drill. You can use that as well. We're going to countersink these screw holes now because they're not going to fit if you don't countersink them. Finally, let's hit the pickguard with some 220 grit sandpaper, and then we can move up to 400 grit if we'd like to, and we can also move up to finer grits as well, depending on whatever you have or whatever you would like to use. That's the final product. Hi, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and you get some more awesome content like this in the future soon. Thanks again.